Wow, he's really in the hospital. You actually got hit by a car? What a loser. Why are you here? Watch your tone, poor boy. We came all this way just to visit you in the hospital, didn't we? I hope you never get out of here, poor kid. Hey, Harry, I brought your lunch. Oh, hello. Thanks for coming out to see Harry. I'm Harry's dad, Alan. Huh? You're Harry's dad? I knew you were poor, but you look homeless. Huh? Poor? Oh, I'm sorry, but you can't blame me for saying that to a single father like you, who couldn't get a decent paying job. It's just the truth. Trouble Busters! Hey, look, it's the poor kid. What do you want? Don't get too close, you might catch his poor disease. We're not that poor. My mom told me all about you. You don't have a mom, do you? Well, no, but... <laughs> then you're definitely poor. Kids who don't have moms are always poor. You can't fool us. But we're not poor. And your dad cheated on your mom, too. That's why she ran away and he left you behind. That's not what happened. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Your dad's a cheater. No, he's not. Your dad's so poor, panhandlers give him money. Here, you must be hungry. You can have my leftovers from lunch. What the? This is moldy. <laughs> yeah, those are Michael's leftovers from last month. He had them in his backpack. Yeah. I was going to throw it away, but I thought I'd donate it to the charity. I don't need your moldy bread, Michael. Eat it, poor kid, or I'll make you eat it. Knock it off. Shut up and eat it. It's a present from Michael, you ungrateful loser. <coughs> don't spit it out. Eat it all. Ew, gross. Clean it up, poor kid. Hey, what's going on over there? I gave some of my food to the poor kid, Mr. Beasley. That's right. Aren't we good kids? All right. Well, try and keep it down in any case. Yes, sir. Hey, Michael, let's go play soccer. Yeah. Clean up the mess, Harry. I'm Harry. I'm a sixth grader. My parents got divorced when I was really little. My parents got divorced when I was really little. Ever since I started school, I've been picked on for being poor and having a single dad. Some of the kids spread rumors that my dad cheated on my mom. It's gotten worse ever since I started the sixth grade last year. My teachers all pretend not to notice, like you just saw. There's no one I can go to for help, so school's pretty bad places for me. Hey, Harry. Welcome home. I made your favorite fried chicken for dinner. No thanks. What? What do you mean, no thanks? Come on, let's eat. I just finished making it, so it's nice and fresh. I don't want any. I'm not hungry. Aw, well, I'll put it in the fridge, so let me know when you're hungry. Hey, Dad, why did you and Mom get divorced? Oh, uh, that. Well, it's kind of a long story. So you don't want to tell me. Well, it's uh, kind of hard to explain. Uh, hey, wait, Harry, come back. If he didn't want to tell me, it must have been because he cheated. I haven't spoke much to my dad in a while because everything that happens to me at school is all his fault. If he didn't divorce mom, I wouldn't be getting picked on like this. How could he be so selfish? He wasn't thinking about my future at all. Then one day, Class observation day is next week, so be sure to let your parents know. Is Harry's mom gonna come? No, Michael, Harry doesn't have a mom. His dad cheated on her, so she dumped him. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Oh, is his loser dad gonna come then? No. Oh, that's too bad, I wanted to meet him. I bet he's super stinky with big dirty beard. Yeah, and his clothes are probably all ragged because he's poor. No, he's not. Oh yeah, then why don't you invite him? Yeah, prove it. Bring your dad to school. But I... I don't want my dad to come to class observation day. All the guys are gonna pick on me even worse. And besides, during the lesson, we have to read a letter expressing our thanks to our parents. I'm not thankful for my dad at all. I hate my dad. That's why I don't want him to come. Welcome home, Harry. Hey, listen. I ran into one of your classmates' moms in the store. She said there's a class observation day soon. What? Did you get an invitation form? Let me see it. I'll do everything I can to come. I can't wait to see what your school day is like. Please don't come. Huh? I don't want you to come. Man, who was the jerk that told my dad about class observation day? When we came and went, today is the class observation day. Hey, Harry, where's your dad, huh? He's not coming. What? That's lame. I wanted to see him. Mommy, Harry said his dad isn't coming. Oh, well, that's a shame. I wanted to say hello. I bet he ran away. He doesn't want everyone to know how poor he is. <laughs> yeah, what a loser. 
Okay, let's begin the class. Michael, you're up first. My dad is a great dad. He makes a lot of money, so we're rich. My mom is a good cook, and I love her too. Aw, thank you so much, Michael. You're so sweet. Okay, next up is Harry. I don't want to do this. I guess I can just make up something that sounds good. It's not like my dad's going to hear it. Okay, my dad cheated on his wife and is a dumb loser, and he's poor too. Hey! <laughs> Michael, you're hilarious. <laughs> Michael, you shouldn't say things like that, even if they are true. Oh, so that's why he's a single father. Uh, hey, Harry, where are you going? I was so embarrassed, all I could think of doing was running out of the classroom. Huh? Harry? What's wrong? Are, are you mad I'm here? I'm sorry, but I was really interested in your school life. I told you not to come. It's all your fault. Everyone picks on me because of you. Me? Hey, Harry, wait up. Dad didn't cheat on Mom. None of this would have happened. It's all his fault. My dad ruined my life. Harry, stop. Watch out. There's a car coming. Huh? Ah! I ran into the road and got hit by a car. Hey, Harry. Harry, are you okay? I passed out. Next time I opened my eyes, what I saw was... <laughs> my dad was bawling his eyes out. Harry! Oh, you're awake. Thank goodness. Dad? I'm so relieved. You finally woke up. Apparently I was unconscious for a full day after getting hit by the car. Fortunately, I didn't have any serious injuries. They want to keep me here for three days for observation. I wish I would have died right there. I hated my life. A few hours later... <laughs> it's really here. So you really got hit by a car? <laughs> Why are you guys here? Watch your tone, poor kid. We went out of our way to come see you in the hospital, didn't we? I guess the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. You're just as inconsiderate as your cheating father. <laughs> yeah, you're a jerk. Where's the poor jerk? I hope you never get out of here, poor kid. What is wrong with these guys? It's not my fault that my dad cheated on my mom. They came all the way to the hospital to pick on me. Hey, Harry. I brought your lunch. Oh, are these your friends? Good afternoon. Thanks for coming out to see Harry. I'm his dad, Alan. Wait, this guy's Harry's dad? Man, he does look poor. Super poor. Oh, please forgive them. My son and his friend Ken are just too honest for their own good. But don't blame them, after all. They're only telling the truth, aren't they? Uh... Being a single father, you can't get a decent job, can you? You poor thing. Excuse me. Oh, hi, Hillary. What's up? Don't give me that. You know what's up. You forgot to put on your lab coat again, Alan. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry. Uh-huh. Lab coat. I'm sorry. What was your name? Uh, Carrie? Oh, yes, that's right. How do you... I'm sorry about your husband's low salary. What? I'm the director of this hospital. What? No, that can't be. You're the hospital director? You know, my dad did say that he worked in a hospital. I've never talked to him about it, so I had no idea what he did at the hospital. But he was the director? Well, your husband works here, doesn't he? If you think my salary's too low... You must be really unsatisfied with your husband's salary. I'm really sorry about that. No way. There's no way someone like you is in the hospital. I know what you mean. He always forgets to wear his lab coat. He doesn't act like a director at all. I tell him that all the time. He doesn't even comb his hair before he comes into work. Beyond me, how a slobby guy like him became the director. Oh, come on. You're being way too harsh. Hey, Carrie. What's at home? There's a TV show I want to catch tonight. Hey, Dad. Wait, is this your husband? That can't be right. What are you talking about? That's my daddy. But I see you picking up Joshua from radiology in your car about every day. I thought Joshua was your husband. Huh? What's he talking about, Carrie? D -d -d don't listen to him, dear. You must be mistaking me for someone else. I don't know any Joshua. No, I'm definitely not mistaken. I see you all the time. I've seen you around, too. I knew Joshua was married, so I thought you were his wife. You're wrong. Joshua isn't my daddy. Not yet. Wait, not yet? Michael, no. Be quiet. Yeah, Mom said he's a candidate for my new daddy. She said our teacher's a candidate, too. He comes to our house all the time. Mr. Beasley comes to your house? You'd better have an explanation for this, Carrie. It's not true. They're both my cousins. Distant cousins. They are? But you said... Shut up, Michael! They're my cousins and they came over to visit. <laughs> oh, really? Is that why you walk around holding hands with my dad all the time, too? Huh? Carrie, how many men are you cheating on me with? No, don't listen. It's all lies. I'm not cheating. Calm down. Calm down and listen to me. 
Everyone here is calm but you, Carrie. It's like dinner. It's boring eating the same thing every night, right? So eat something different every day to keep things interesting. Adding variety makes the main dish taste better. That is the worst excuse I've ever heard. But give me some credit. It's only one person per day, so there's nothing to worry about. One person a day? That means seven people. Um, no, I just, uh, I just uh, misspoke. <laughs> Holy moly. You're cheating with seven men? Like you can talk. Huh? You cheated on mom and dumped her. I know everything. You're being a huge hypocrite. Harry, that's not true. Liar, I heard it from Michael. Huh? Yeah, I heard it from my mom. She told me to tell everyone at school, so I told all my friends. She told me to pick on Harry about it, too. Michael, that was supposed to be our secret. Why? We're not doing anything wrong. Why should we keep it a secret? You told him to bully Harry? Is that true? How could you? What is wrong with you? No, it's not true. I never said that. Michael's making it all up. No, I'm not, Mommy. I'm doing what you told me to. You said you got mad at Harry's dad because you asked him out and he turned you down, right? What? Wait, actually, I do remember you asking me out a really long time ago. No, I didn't. I would never try to cheat on you with Harry's dad. That's right. My mom would never do that. She just said she wanted him to be her Monday. Michael! You told him to bully Harry because of that? You're a real piece of work, Harry. It's all your fault. You shouldn't have rejected me. If you hadn't rejected me, none of this would have happened. I'm through with you, Carrie. You'd better get yourself an amazing lawyer. What? Why? Because I'm gonna divorce you. And after that, I'm gonna sue you. Don't you think you're taking this too far? I'll leave you penniless, Carrie. Wait, no! Don't go! <laughs> don't worry, Mommy. You can get a new Mr. Saturday to cheer you up. Shut up, you brat! This is all your fault, too. Mommy, what are you doing? Mommy, no! Let me go this instant! How can you blame Michael for this? He only did what you told him to! You're getting what you deserve! Uh... And just so you're aware, I'm gonna sue you for slander! So that's two lawsuits on your hands! No! Why is this happening? What did I do to deserve this? After that, Carrie got sued by the wives of the seven men she had affairs with, in addition to her own husband. All of her partners were married, spent every single day at the courthouse for weeks, and the stress made her start to turn gray. And her partners are having a pretty rough time with things too. Mr. Beasley got fired from her school, and his wife left him. Now Michael's mom has to pay a massive amount in damages. Michael's dad got custody of him after his parents' divorce was finalized. And in order to straighten them out, Michael's dad is sending them to a strict karate dojo. And as for me, I'm really sorry. Sorry for everything, Dad. Nah, I should have told you the truth sooner. This is partially my fault, too. I never thought something like this would happen. It's okay, Dad. I heard everything from my grandma after that. My dad found out that my birth mother had been abusing me for a long time. He reported my mom to the police, divorced her, and took care of me himself. The police arrested my mom and charged her with child abuse, and she's still in jail right now. My dad didn't tell me about her because he didn't want me to be hurt by the truth. Hey, Dad? What's up, Harry? I... I want to be a doctor. I'd be a great doctor, just like you. Huh? You do? Why's that? When I was in the hospital, all the nurses and doctors said that you were kind of a weird guy, but you're a really, really good doctor. They said that no one cares about their patients as much as you. What? They said I'm kind of weird. Well, I guess they have a point. When I heard that, I knew that I wanted to be just like you when I grew up. If that's what you want, I'll support you all the way, Harry. Thanks, Dad. Well, there are a lot of unexpected developments in this story, but the important things I learned were that my dad's not a cheater and that he loves me a lot. should have trusted my dad more. From now on, I'm going to do my best to make it up to him. Then I can become an adult like my dad who cares about his family more than anything else. Okie dokie, Trouble Busters.